again everybody at our search session as our vice course today i will show you how is link bonding configured and how is interface bonding types of interface bonding and lsp also i will show you uh, the main and backup uh, interface bonding let's start with our cli between our vice routers here we are having Ethernet 2 and Ethernet 3 connecting between both vice routers. So let's start our configuration. And firstly, we will we will configure a bonding interface by set interface bonding bond and give it a number one and make it smooth as 802.380. This is the LSP mode, and we can give it also an address. And then connect the slaves of each uh, the slaves for this bonding interface by this command set interface Ethernet Ethernet to bonding group bond one the same for Ethernet three let's first mm -hmm. check if there were any old configuration at interface Ethernet two or three yes there was some configuration but it was removed let me check ethernet 3 okay let's compare and now let's commit our configuration let's check our interfaces now We are having this is a bonding interface and we are having Ethernet 2 and Ethernet 3. Now let's go to our our other vice router. We were having all configuration here, so let's delete it. Let's check our other interface. Also, we will delete this. Now let's configure our bonding interface and its mode is 802.3 AD its address is 10.10.10.2 slash 30 and let's add our ethernet slaves to this bonding interface Now let's commit our configuration and check. Run. Run show interface and this is our interfaces. Now let's do a bing. And here we go about the bing. Let's check the traffic at the interfaces. Here we are having these packets. I think this is all the configuration interface. Let's clear now. These counters run clear interface bonding statistics. Bond one statistics. counters and let's clear also our ethernet interfaces counters let's do this here also run clear 
interface bonding counters and here interface ethernet counters now let's do a ping and check how the traffic is low balanced here from the other router let's run show interface bonding bond one here we can see that there is 23 packets sent and received from this side let's check how many packets received at ethernet 2 and how many packets received at ethernet 3 you will find here 39 packets received here and at ethernet 3 you will find two packets received here and 48 packets sent from here and two packets received from here so here we cannot control how is traffic going out from here to here so we can make something like making a main and backup interface to force traffic at one interface and stop traffic at the other one this is by changing the mood of the interface bonding bond one and make its mood is active backup and here let's set interface ethernet ethernet 2 as primary set interface bonding bond 10 1 primary ethernet 2 and let's compare our configuration here and commit it let's do the same as the other side set interface bonding bond one mode active backup and then let's make our primary interface is ethernet 2 and let's check our configuration and commit it now let's do our bank again and check the traffic Here at Ethernet 3, you will not find any traffic increase here. So it's not having any traffic. But it, Ethernet 2 you will find here packets start to send and receive only from Ethernet 2. And here how you make main and backup interface. Thank you for viewing and hope that was informative for